Hey everybody, Joe Durani from Ample Property Solutions. Now quite often, a lot of people ask me, why do we need more than two or three or four investment properties? What are you talking about in regards to, you know, they can't even fathom one investment property, how are they gonna fathom, you know, four investment properties? So this is what it always comes down to. It's your financial nest egg. You have to work out for yourself how much you're going to need to retire comfortably to be able to maintain and sustain the lifestyle that you deserve. That's why you've got to fill out this retirement financial freedom formula so that you can work out now, based on your shortfall, your retirement nest egg or financial nest egg, how many properties the experts like ourselves and, and you know the experts that are out there in the field, how many investments you're going to need to be able to attain that goal, attain that financial nest egg. So what I want to do is go through the quick formula right now Free for you to use as well. We're gonna share the link in this video so that you can click on it and fill it out for yourself. However, I wanna go through this just to give you an example, okay? It doesn't have to be the exact sort of right numbers. Just work it out based on your circumstances. So let's start with the first question, which is your current age. Now, I'm just gonna go off the example of 30, okay? People in their 30s. Grab another pen. So the people in their 30s. The next question is, when would you like work to become a choice? Or in other words, when would you like to be financially retired? So, or what's your retirement age estimation? So let's just go off average and, and normal numbers that are out there today and say around the 60 or the 65 mark, okay? So now we've got 30 years left, that's left in the workforce. So from 30 to 60, we've got 30 years left in the workforce, okay? Now, the next question you've got to ask yourself well, is how much am I going to need after retirement as a, as a whole income or a whole passive sort of funds that are, uh, are ready to be able to acquire or to utilize? How much is that as a, as a whole am I going to need to sustain my lifestyle or to enjoy my life or even better yet to fulfill all my retirement goals? Whatever that, that may be. So, on average, um, a lot of people are living off around $85,000 to about $150,000 for a couple. So let's just go to make numbers sake easy for this uh, example and say $100,000. Okay. Now, the next question after this is, you know, nobody can put an expiry date on your life. Nobody can tell you when you're going to go and that's not up to us. However, how much or how long do you want to plan and budget for? Now, thanks to you know uh, health and, and medical research, we're living a lot longer based on life expectancy and living a lot longer than what we used to. So on average, if we're 60, from how long onwards do you think we're going to you know, live? Let's just go on, on, a, on a rough estimation of 20 years. So now we're going to go times 20 years. And maths is quite simple. We work it out to be $2 million. Okay, now that's your financial nest egg. But you've got to also work out where you stand currently financially. So you look at your retirement provisions, as in your super, savings, any equity from other investments or anything like that. And then you work out and minus it from the $2 million. So off this example, we have I'll put here, retirement provisions, R, P, okay, excuse the writing. Let's just say we've got $200,000 in super, okay, $200,000 in super. We've also got $50,000 in savings, and we've also got, uh, say, uh, 50K in shares and stocks. And nothing else. There's no other sort of equity. There's no investment properties. There's nothing. That's three hundred thousand dollars. That's where we currently stand today. Okay. Now all you got to do is you got to minus the three hundred thousand from the two million dollars. That gives you a shortfall of one point seven million dollars. Okay. Now. This video is not to scare you or anything like that, but more or less to make you aware of what it is that you need to go out there and achieve or build towards so that you can retire comfortably and so that you can achieve your retirement goals. 
So from here, you've got to actually divide that by how many years left in the workforce so that you can work out for yourself on a yearly or monthly basis or weekly basis how much you're going to need to set aside if you're not going to invest in any vehicle, whether it's property, shares, stocks, or, or cryptocurrency, or whatever the case is, how much you're going to need to save religiously, weekly, um, so that you can get to your $1.7 million shortfall. Based on this example, it worked out to be, so if you divide that by, divide that by the 30 years left in the workforce, equals up to about 56,000, 600 or so per annum that you need to save yearly Yearly you need to save this yearly and if you want to you know divide that by weekly Your weekly savings Is a thousand and eighty nine dollars per week roughly Now realistically not many people can put this type of money aside. So it's up to you. I've got two things for you one Can you save this type of money aside? And like I said, this is very circumstantial and it's personalized. So you utilize this information. It's free. Use this tool. Click on the link and fill out your own, uh, own details. Now, this is just an example, like I said, but if you can put $1,089 a week, then you don't have to invest in anything whatsoever. The question is, can you buy one investment property and get to $1.7 million in the next 30 years? No, sorry. Property doesn't work that way. You need multiple investments to get you to very close or if not even better than your retirement nest egg. So you've got two choices or one. Do something about it. Invest in a vehicle that's going to get you there or do nothing. It's up to you. Joe Durrani, Ample Property Solutions.